What's up guys? It's your girl, Alex. Today I have a core circuit for you. We got five different exercises. We're gonna go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I'm gonna go through one full round with you guys. You are more than welcome to repeat as many times as you like. I would definitely recommend repeating it three times. And if you're feeling like a champ, you can go more than that. But we got five exercises. We're gonna do a V up complex. Let me, let me check what I actually have for you. We're gonna do a V up complex. We're gonna do leg raises. We're gonna do elbow to knee crunch. We're gonna do dead bug. And then we're gonna do bird dog crunches. So they're all pretty simple. All we need today is a mat. And let's get going. I have a handy dandy timer that's gonna keep track for us. We are gonna start with V-up complex. So all we're gonna do for a V-up complex here, here, and together. Pretty simple. I'll instruct you the rest of the way, but we got 10 seconds and then we are live. So again, starting with V-up complex. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Two and three. And that's simple, guy. We're going for 30 seconds. Make sure you're taking nice, deep, normal breaths. Just keep working. Halfway. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, next we got leg raises. So we're gonna start on our back. All we're doing for 30 seconds, nice controlled raises. For a challenge, put your hands out to your side. If you want a little extra support, we can put our hands right underneath our booty. We got about 10 seconds and we'll get going. All right, three, two, one, and go. Get nice control down. Up can be a little quicker, but we want to control that down movement. And that's all we're doing. Remember to take nice, deep, controlled breaths under 10 seconds. And rest. All right, up next we got elbow to knee. So we're gonna set up in a crunch position. All we're doing is bringing our opposite elbow to the opposite knee right here. Give me a really nice squeeze. We're gonna feel it up here and we're also gonna feel a little bit in our mid core section. It's gonna be a lot of burning, a lot of cross action movement. This is a really good one. All right, we got five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Remember with core, it's not necessarily the amount of reps, but the amount of quality reps. So really squeeze, control your movements. We're over halfway. And rest. All right, up next we got dead bugs. So again, starting on our back, our feet and our hands are gonna be up. So this one is a little bit of a brain teaser. We're gonna do opposite leg, opposite foot, go out, together, out, together, just in that pattern. Moving as quick as your brain will allow. If you get off, don't worry, as long as you're flailing like a dead bug, you're good, and let's go. With these, remember to also keep breathing. We have the tendency when we do core, that we just hold our breath. Ten more seconds. And rest. All right. Last movement, so we got bird dog crunches. So we're gonna come up to a tabletop position. From here, again, opposite foot, opposite leg, you're gonna kick out, 
come together, kick out, and down. Kick out, come together, kick out, come down. And that's the cycle. We got about five seconds, but again, nice controlled movements. Give me a squeeze in the middle and go. Your core should be engaged through the entire time. Keep yourself balanced and in a good tabletop position. This is also working our glutes a little bit. Everybody loves that. We're under 10 seconds. And breath. All right, guys, that is our five core movements of the day, and we're done. Again, if you want to grab a drink and get right back into a second round, go for it. If you need a little bit of a rest, take it. It's your workout. Do what your body needs. Um, repeat this as many times as you want or call it a day. It's totally up to you. Um, well, guys, I'll catch you next time.